What's up, people? It's your boy, Jatois. What the heck do I have here? <laughs> That's probably the question everybody's asking. What you're seeing right here is my newest station that I have created. Uh, it's a portable uh, base for something less than that. I, it can do its own drilling, can create its own vehicles, and hopefully we can get this thing to work somewhere. So I need to drag this out somewhere out there. I want to put it on Minimus, but for right now we're going to do a, a close to a Kerbin test. Well, a, a current test on Kerbin because I want to make sure everything's going to work right. So let's go ahead and get this bad boy rolling here. We need to first get out to that field and I, we need to start drilling. Got to drill, baby, drill. So let's go ahead and get... Oh, no, the lights! Ooh, I forgot the lights there. That was so close. Screw those lights! I hate those lights. Roadway clear. Roadway is clear. Crossing the roadway. Got to look both ways before you cross traffic. I forgot to populate this with people. Well, that's okay. I guess I will have to run some people out here. So that makes time for a nice little field trip for all my Kerbins. Oh, look at all those beautiful drills. Extending. Down. And let's start that drill up. Two. <laughs> we need ore. We need lots and lots of ore. Uh, so we need to go uh, ore to metal. And scrap metal to metal. I know, missing. It's okay. Just in case we get somebody. Anyways, we're going to leave this right here, go and get some Kerbins, and then be right back. So, you stay right there. Alright, so we're back, and now we have our little Kerbin transport bus that is ready to go. Um, well, let me make sure I have everything on there properly. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Now, these wheels are from Kerbin Foundries, but I have tweaked them out to be slightly faster. Uh, so... I really got tired of going <laughs> slow. I needed something faster, and Kerbin Foundries actually has the best track system that I was able to find. Uh, that being said, I use them as the basis for all of my stuff now, and I absolutely love the fact that these can go a little faster now, although it sacrifices some maneuverability. Uh, we need to slow down before we hit this roadway. There we go. I also made them heavier. I made them heavier so that when I go up in the air, I can land feet first like a cat would. Now, hopefully when we make it out here, our craft isn't doing anything crazy because we're still kind of fighting some oddities when things reload and you're doing things like drilling or landing or landed or doing nothing sometimes things will just flip over I I don't know <laughs> ace driving dud dudman ace driving yes slowly walk slowly we can make him run there we go all right so he needs to get up here board leave seat okay so that's my little cheat way of getting people up and over because I really did not think to put an elevator on here I could have built one I know how to do it now but uh, it's a lot easier just to say <laughs> teleport to seat yay alright go on up and let's get you to work Okay, so now we have, I believe, someone in each one. Alright, good, good. Now we need to start building some rocket parts. So, metal to rocket parts. Let's get that rolling. If I switch back here. We need to get enough parts to actually build a craft. Now, this craft that I am devising, well, it's already built and tested, but I need, I need more people. I need more people. I don't think I can do anything from here without people, can I? Well, let's see. 
Now, the craft that we want to build is from the space plane hangar. And it's all the way at the bottom here. It's VTOLaholic. And we <laughs> are significantly lacking the parts to the rocket parts to build this, even though it's, it's soaring up rapidly. Uh, this is going to cause me to have to fast forward some time. Uh, we can also, you, you see here, you can use the VAB uh, crafts, you can do the space plane hangar, or you can do sub ass, because everybody likes a little sub ass. So, what I'm going to do is fast forward a bit. And, oh man, we're making more scrap metal than anything else, aren't we? So yeah, I'm going to fast forward a bit, and hopefully uh, we can get the parts to build this VTOLaholic, and take that one out for a spin, so I'll be right back. Alright, so we're still closing in on the rocket parts that we need to build VTOLaholic, but... The mods that you're seeing, of course, no, 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 the name's right up here if you haven't noticed it yet. It's Extra Planetary la Launch Pad. Now, this gives you the ability to create crafts uh, from a mobile, or, well, it's kind of, it's not really mobile. It is currently, since it, <laughs> this is where it comes into play, this here mobile launch pad. Uh, it, it lets you create craft from uh, wherever you land so that is going to be really handy for me uh, especially on other planets you can actually land something and build rovers without having to fly more and more over and as you can see it doesn't take very many kerbins to run this thing I'm only using two and that's just to create the rocket parts now if I can get away with doing that without having the kerbins on there I definitely will and I have to look through the parts a bit more to make sure I can I'm also using carbonite, and that's where you see all of my drills here, and you see there's six on each side, which gives me a very rapid increase in ore, which then lets me create a lot more metal, and then rocket parts from there. So you kind of have to go and mine it, convert it, and then convert that over to rocket parts. And if you don't like that little type of mini game, it's probably not for you. I definitely say give it a shot, especially if you're tired of landing more and more craft on Duna or maybe on Eve you just want to land one base station on there and then just create craft from there this is a perfect opportunity to do so so I may actually take I want to take this to Minimus first and use that as a launch pad for other places since you know hey <laughs> the extreme low gravity would be fantastic for launching craft from so it's a great place to, to start versus Kerbin where I have to fight the atmosphere and the additional gravity that's five hours and 21 minutes to go <laughs> ah so obviously there's one thing you can do in this instance Besides listening to my <laughs> dogs bark, my uh, neighbor's dogs barking outside, uh, I should not have let Scarlet out. She's having way too much fun and getting everyone rowdy out there. All right, so what I need to do is uh, speed up some time. So we're just gonna go for that instead, because there's no way that we would sit here and wait five hours. Five hours to do that <laughs> all right so that's done now we just need to gently bring ourselves back to normal okay so now we can finalize our build and here's where I press F5 because <laughs> I don't know I don't know what's gonna happen here how big it is so finalize oh Ooh. It's, it's just right. It's just right. Okay. So, wow. Link liquid fuel. We can actually do all that. But we're actually going to go for a release after we, um, not enough crew. We need to get someone in there, actually. Uh, so who would like to be my pilot? 
I wonder if I can uh, use KAS to save the day. Let's see what we can do here. Get up, no slacking. Alright, so we grabbed our chair, and now we need to walk this chair on over. Or run this chair on over. So, can we attach this somewhere useful? We can. We can attach it there. Alright, grout, jump on board. Alright, we're not done yet, because that just gets us a step closer to where we need to be. <laughs> so go ahead and leave the seat, bud. Which puts us way up here, which is actually fantastic. That's where I needed to be. That could not have worked out better, unless this hatch doesn't open. Which I am expecting it to say it is obstructed. Huh? <laughs> yes! Yes! Oh, I did not think that would work, but okay. So... <laughs> so what are we going to do about this? Uh, let's see if this VTOL will live up to its name and its prowess. Alright, here we go. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. That's not gonna work. Uh, well, if that's gonna hold us up straight like that, uh, <laughs> we might just be able to get away with doing this. Oh, <laughs> it somehow escaped. I will take that. I will take that. That is awesome. I did not think that would work. Okay. Well, it was different. I now I, now I know that the aircraft is slightly too big for that. Toggle that. Kick on these, so we can stop our forward progress. Okay, and there you go. Now we can actually toggle between hover mode. I got this idea when I was playing Saints Row, uh, that I wanted a VTOL aircraft. Very similar to the way theirs in the game could go from flying to VTOL and, well, rapidly. That was a really cool idea. I loved it. Uh, it was a stag aircraft that was able to do that. I forgot the exact name of it, but uh, it was really cool, and I loved that aircraft a lot. I wonder if it put more fuel on one side than the other. Because our balance is definitely off. It did. It did. Which is causing my headaches right now. <laughs> Alright. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Nice and easy. Alright. Whoops. What have I done? What have I done? <laughs> I can't see. I can't see anything. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that is definitely different. I don't want to see you in the cockpit. Let me out. Let me out. Alright, well, I see a small problem here. Being that um, things get really strange really quickly. And uh, unfortunately... Oh, oh. I need to get out of this. There we go. Okay, wow. Uh, 
That could have been really bad. Okay, so there we go. <laughs> I remembered how to do it. All right, all right, all right. So I have to hold Alt and then click between my two tanks. There we go. Yay. So I need to transfer out and get these two balanced a little better. There needs to be an auto balance button. <laughs> Someone probably has a mod for that, and I probably don't know about it. But that's as close as I'm going to be able to get it. So, let's see how this craft handles now a little better. Hopefully a lot better, actually. So much better. <laughs> now we can actually do a good demonstration. Alright. Oh, that's nice. That's that's how I expected it to be flying. There we go. Now that is how this craft should be flying. Just like in Saints Row. How it's able, well, it's not able to stop on a dime like in Saints Row. You can see, oh, oh, the train's leaving! The train's leaving! That's so awesome. I love watching that train. Fantastic job on KSC++. I love the train. Alright, so that, that's my few things I wanted to show you this time around. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, that's a little closer than I intended. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that, that's my few crafts that I had wanted to show you this time around. I really hope you enjoyed them. Uh, being able to build this on just any other planet or just being able to build this period uh, from a mobile base is really freaking cool. And uh, I really enjoy that idea a lot. But for now, I'm going to get on out of here. If you like what you're seeing, hit that like button. Drop me in a comment. Let me know what you think. Let's see what crafts you have created if you have tried this mod already. And uh, let's see what other VTOL craft you have created as well. This is my, this is probably going to be one of my favorite ones right here. Just because I, it came from a game that is near and dear to me, which is Saints Row, which I really enjoy. And the fact that I was able to rebuild it and it flies almost as well is really awesome. But for now, I'm going to get on out of here. This is your boy, Jatois. Hope to catch you guys in the next video. Peace. But it looks freaking sweet. Uh, that's gonna be the other thing. Is it controls for this? Or can be a bit better? So, I mean, it's a game about flying, so. And we're coming down hard. Because I got control.